Welcome to my channel, I'm Vegan Games. Eating animals causes pandemics. If we don't take action now, eating animals will be the death of us. This is the topic of this video. A disease that can pass from animals to humans is called a zoonotic disease. Three out of every four new or emerging infectious diseases in people come from animals. Zoonotic diseases are responsible for nearly 3 million human deaths a year. There are over 200 zoonotic diseases and just 56 of them affect 2.5 billion people. COVID-19 is one of many zoonotic diseases. Others include SARS, MERS, Ebola and HIV. These all came from animals. Scientists have been warning about the health risks posed by intensive factory farms for years. Zoonotic diseases are mainly transmitted through trading wildlife and the animal agriculture industry where animals are kept in the utmost squalid and cramped conditions. We are enclosing ever increasing numbers of animals in filthy, overcrowded sheds, and these animals are more susceptible to disease due to the extreme stress of these inhumane factory sheds. These are the ideal breeding grounds for diseases to mutate, mix, and spread to cause the next pandemic. New viruses are also appearing with increasing frequency. By expanding factory farming, we are increasing the chances of another zoonotic pandemic. All for the sake of our global hunger for meat. This is so obvious. But the media are not reporting this. I wonder who buys their ad space in their publications. Human activity and the expansion of animal agriculture has changed three quarters of the planet's surface. 90% of farmed animals across the world are now kept in factory farms. In an interview with The Guardian, Professor Thomas Lovejoy said two to four new viruses are being created every year as a result of human infringement on the natural world, and any one of those could turn into a pandemic. Another huge issue is the overuse of antibiotics. Superbugs, or antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections, results from the overuse of antibiotics. 75% of the world's antibiotics are used in animal agriculture. And that's not surprising given the squalid conditions of these factory farms. So as well as new emerging viruses coming from factory farms or from wild animals taken to markets, we have another serious global threat of antimicrobial resistance, also known as AMR. In 2016, a government review warned about the deaths caused by AMR each year will rise to 10 million by 2050 if no action is taken. That means AMR will kill more people than cancer. Due to the increasing global demand for meat, it's predicted that antibiotic use in cattle, chicken and pigs worldwide will increase by 67% by 2030. Governments have forced the world to wear masks and stand two meters apart but animals are still housed in overcrowded, filthy factories. Why? Governments are ignoring the causes of pandemics, and they take huge amounts of money from the powerful animal agriculture industry and from pharmaceuticals who create vaccines. Why bite the hand that feeds you, even if the cost is a pandemic? We must internalize the connection between animal agriculture and environmental destruction, antibiotic resistance and disease outbreak. We need to stand up and shame our leaders into action. There is a lot more evidence in the video description. This should be a wake up call for all of us, but it has fallen on deaf ears. Eating animals causes pandemics. If we don't take action now, eating animals will be the death of us. Go vegan now. Vegan Games says peace out.